name is Daniel Heyman. I'm an artist who lived for a long time in Philadelphia and I recently moved to Rhode Island. Some of you may know my work and some of you may have supported my work in the past, for which I am deeply, deeply grateful. I work with communities who have lost their voice in the public debate and I incorporate their voices directly into my artwork. This is an amazing text, which I'd love to read. Yeah. Can I read this? Yeah. We're all yeah. When they moved us into gray boxes, that's when we started to get sick. When we lived in circles, like turtles in nature, then we were healthy. He's talking about his parents, and he says, um, they grew up in disorder. We are only remnants. And he was really talking about the way the culture was no longer there, but the people were still there. Okay, so who is this guy, and why is he? What was the moment where you decided he was important to your project? Leechanot is a Turtle Mountain band of Chippewa tribal member. He grew up in Turtle Mountain. He had a very uh, typical large family boarding school background, and he eventually made his way to Grand Forks, North Dakota. And he would recruit people, and he would um, bring them up to the University of North Dakota and help them academically pass, basically, and get through their academic programs to develop a professional career. And Lee Jenna worked very closely with Lucy and with Kim doing the, um, the preliminary research for this project. So Lee's contacts were the contacts that we had at Turtle Mountain, at Standing Rock, and, some, and all of the reservations. So I was out in North Dakota working on a project making portraits of, um, of this guy named Dilly, who was great, from Nepal. And I was working with Kim Fink, who's a master printer at Sung Dog Multiples. And we went out to dinner one night with Dilly and Lucy Ganji, who's a professor there of graphic design. And Lucy grew up on a reservation, and she... Um, she had married an Indian, and her kids are all tribal members, and she's really involved in Indian affairs and Indian culture and Indian, Indian history and things like that. At dinner that night, Lucy said, why don't you come out here next summer, and we will travel together to the four reservations in North Dakota, and you can make portraits of Native Amer Americans, and together we can tell the story of contemporary Native American life. Mm -hmm. 